guys, I'm Kate. I'm Allison. And we are going to show you how to um, unpack your precious plants when they arrive in the mail. So, uh, you know, sending plants in the mail is um, its always a risky business because you never know what happens to those packages. So we package our plants very carefully, which can make them uh, kind of a challenge to open if you've never done it before and you may be wondering where the heck do I start with this thing? So we're just going to show you how we do it. So this right here, this is a sundew. This is a Philformis Florida giant. Um, as you can see, this is these grow really tall and big. And when they're outside, they're very dewy. When you get yours, it might not be super dewy. And that's because as you can see, to get it in, you know, protected in this cup, a lot of the um, leaves will stick to the sides. And then just being boxed up without the bright sunlight, which they need to make the dew, can it, sometimes when you get them, they might not look as sparkly and uh, juicy as they look when they're outdoors. So don't be alarmed if you see a couple of uh, browning leaves, if it's sticking to the cup, if it doesn't have dew, all of those things are really normal uh, part of the shipping process and it will recover once it's planted outside. So as you can see, this guy's really, it's taped in here really well. It's so that even if, um, you know, the post office kicks the package all the way to your door, yeah, we like to think it this will be fine. Yeah, we like survive a drop kicking. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> we, once it leaves here, we don't know what happens to it. So we make sure they're packaged really tightly. So I like to use a box cutter for this. Um, it is just the, a really precise tool and it makes kind of slicing through this tape a lot easier. You can also use scissors, you can use a knife, just be careful. Um, so you, I usually just kind of carefully go kind of around the edge of the cup and, you know, see if I can get it to wiggle out. Um, there we go. I'm just kind of slicing away and making little cuts and seeing if I can kind of pull it away. But if you have a really sharp tool like this, you don't have to struggle quite so much with it. So here, almost got that off. Let's move that out of the way. I'm just gonna slice right back here. Be careful. Nice. And then, Woo! there we go, and it pops Woo! right out. And so you can see there's still a lot of uh, tape and wrap around the base, but again, just really yeah. small, uh, delicate cuts. And um, that's just to hold all the soil in the pot. Yes, because it can get shuffled around in shipment. So you can see I'm, I'm not making like deep cuts. I'm just kind of trying to get a point so I can, and then once you can peel it away, it'll come off really quickly. So that's this guy. So that can be it's caught on the edge right here. There we go. And now it's out and you can see there, you might have, you know, some dead leaves down here. There's some, you know, dirt and debris. All these things are super normal. These are plants that grow outside. So don't be alarmed. There's less dew than there normally is. You will put this outside, either um, it can live happily on its own in a little dish of distilled water, or you will plant it into your bog. It lives really happily in bog gardens also. Okay, so I have here uh, Nepenthes, a tropical pitcher plant. And um, these ones are a little delicate. And as you can see, we kind of have the leaves, um, the pitchers in here, they're in order to get them in this cup, they kind of have to be turned upside down and the leaves can be a little delicate. They can be a little brittle. So I'm going to start by, um, just going to get this. Oh, I thought I could get it out. <laughs> I just wanted this tag out of the way. Save that. Okay. And then, yeah, just like Allison, they just get it, the knife right under the cup. I am way less gentle than she is. I just really <laughs> want to go for it. I just really want this out of my cup. So, so this one, um, you want to be very careful taking the cup off. 
Um, there is um, a central growth point that you don't want to break. And then there's also at the tips. Okay, so I got the cup loose, but at the tips um, of the leaves, so the growing tendrils, see I got my tiny little picture there. Very fragile, and I really want to save that so I can watch it grow up. Okay, so I'm just gonna be very, very careful, really, really just gently let it come out of the cup like that. There you go, and you kind of just organize this. Oh, look at oh, that. So That's uh, Aristolocuides by Maxima. Ooh. Yeah. So this is your central growth point. Watch out for that guy and watch out for these little guys here. Hmm. Okay. And then just like the other one, I'm just going to kind of cut the plastic a little bit. Um, the saran wrap and the tape. Just so I can... Okay. Uh, maybe it would be better with scissors with this here. Ever is your tool of choice. Look at that. There we go. Just like Beautiful. that. Ready for my windowsill or my terrarium. So we have a fly trap here. This is a beautiful big King Henry. Um, like Kate, I mean like like we did with the others, I'm just gonna go around here and oh that side. This one came off nice yeah. and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna be gentle with it. You probably don't have to worry as much as with an Apenthes, but you know, you've got all these really nice beautiful traps here. Um, if you trigger a trap, it's not the end of the world. Um, obviously take care um, as you can, but you don't have to be super precious with it. It really will be okay. Um, so I'm gonna cut through this. And if you can see, I don't know if you can tell, there's some like packing floofs in here. And this is to help keep the soil um, from falling out and just kind of give it an added layer of protection so the traps don't jostle around too much in shipment. So as I pull all this packaging off, we got some nice juice leaking out of there, totally normal. Um, cut through that. And again, I'm just being really careful not to actually get into the plant. Okay, so we have, this is like polyester fiber fill. You can throw it away. Um, we're gonna pull this off of the soil and the traps, slide that off, and then you're done. And you can see in here some of the questions that I get when people get fly traps, um, particularly earlier in the growing season when there might not be as much um, pictures on the plant yet as it's starting to actively grow. If you get a uh, fly trap with traps that are either turning black or are completely black, don't panic that it's really normal. This is the normal behavior of a fly trap as it um, you know, catches food. Older traps will die back and put that energy back into the plant so it, it puts out new um, and more beautiful growth. So that's super normal. You also might get a little critter in there. It's fine. Um, and that's how you unpack the Venus fly trap. Okay, you wanna do this one? <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I think we should send ourselves plants more often. We should. <laughs> it feels a little more special than just, you know. Just always sending them away. Yeah. It's just, let's send them to just come back to us. So this is a beautiful one. It's uh, Dragontea Purple by Heterophylla. So this is how they're going to come to you. They're going to come in these little cute cups um, with a label. It's going to be packaged in um, some... It could be damp still, or it might be dry by the time you get it, and each of those are fine. And so you're gonna see the plant in here. Pull that out gently. And a couple of things. This, this is probably one of the most frequently asked questions that we get is when people unpack their pinguicula and notice that there's either leaves that have died back that are brown or kind of starting to turn translucent and brown. That is really normal, especially um, in shipment. These are pretty delicate plants. Um, and so it's normal to have some leaves that have um, either started to die back during shipping or even beforehand. 
Yeah, it's hard to ship these plants in the mail. I mean, imagine if we put you in a box <laughs> in the dark for three yeah. days, you know, you might, you you might, might lose some leaves too. <laughs> so with these guys, it's, um, you know, usually with the butterworts, with the pinguicula, um, the way we ship them, they arrive pretty fresh. Uh -huh. But if you do have some leaves that turn brown, don't worry. What you want to look for is this central growth point. This, as you can tell, um, it's nice and bright green. It looks healthy, it's firm. These grow kind of from the center out. And so as long as you have a nice healthy growth point, you don't have to worry about any, if any leaves have you know started to turn. Once you get it planted, it'll start actively growing again. Um, and it's perfectly healthy. So as you can see, the other question we get a lot is, oh my God, I think all the roots got broken off of my plant before shipping. So I don't know if you can tell, these roots on here, they're like baby hairs. They're so tiny. Um, it's not really anchoring a plant in and like in the way that um, a more traditional plant would. So you don't have to worry if you see little tiny baby roots. You do wanna try to get contact with the soil um, as much as possible, but it's, it's really not the end of the world if some are a little exposed and I mean people grow these yeah. on like lava rocks and yeah they don't they don't make a lot of roots and then they don't make like fibrous roots that are really anchoring them into the soil they're just kind of like a few like loosey juicy roots <laughs> that just sort of they really just they it's more like they sit on top of the soil mm -hmm. so um you know if you don't see roots on your plant don't panic that's just kind of how the butterworts grow yep they're just special like that. <laughs> Makes them kind of easy too for transplanting. Just like, don't really have to dig very far to get them out. So, and one other question that I often get from people is, how do I clean them? Um, so, some you can see there's a little bit of dirt on there. You might get a little bit of dirt on it um, when you're planting it or unpackaging it. It's, I mean, it's not going to hurt it at all if you don't like the way it looks. I sometimes just spray them gently with distilled water and that can kind of help like you know uh, help them settle into the soil also but it'll um, you know they begin regrowing so quickly that you're just not going to notice it in a few weeks so don't worry about that too much. Yeah. If it's excessive yeah I like the spray bottle method of just kind of gently spraying some of the stuff off. You might not get it all off probably you'll never get it all off. So just you know just know that the new leaves will grow and they'll be perfect pristine leaves with no dirt on them at all so that's right. it's better not to like poke at them too much or like really try to spray them really hard anyways so if you guys have um, any more questions just let us know if you have comments please let us know and um, enjoy your plants we are just so happy to be sending um, plants to people all over the US and we hope you enjoy them